Hi, good afternoon. This is Hassan Baju, and today I'm going to be doing a demo for traffic light controller. Um, before I went on the board to pull my circuit together, I did a design which put it more shows the algorithm. I first thing I did was to create a sketch of a one way traffic at a junction using two sets of traffic lights. The first set contains red, yellow, and green alongside the left one and the pedestrian light, which is this. And the second set showing direction to the adjacent direction, showing traffic to the adjacent direction as a set of left turn light, the red, the green, yellow, red, and also the pedestrian light. And I I numbered each of them from one to ten. And these numbers represent the pins I'm gonna be using for those lights. So the pedestrian light for one direction contain um it represents number one, pin one, then pin two, pin three, pin four, pin five, pin six, pin seven, pin eight, pin nine, and pin ten. Then just like I did in my previous demo for the counter from 0, 0.0 to 9.9, .9, I created an array for value. I created a 6 by 10 array, multi dimensional array for values that are going to be stored in uh, the values at different pins from pin 1 to the pin 10. Um, using different using different uh, using different traffic sequences so what this array actually means is that there are going to be values at 10 pins for six different traffic sequences that's six different traffic instances because we all know that the traffic at some point when this is red this is going to be green when this is red this is going to be green so those are those um those are traffic instances or traffic sequences so um i i was able to put my algorithm together on this piece of paper now let me go on to the computer to show my code the code i use for this i use an, a linux os to run my compiler just as i did for my previous labs um now let me open the about open the compiler the Arduino IDE then let me open the file the code I created the program I created for the for the traffic light controller While I while I check for the um, while I check for the folder, let me let me focus on the traffic line so you can see the sequence. Okay, just like I did on the paper, I created an array and I named the array traffic control, which is a 6x10 multi dimensional array. Um, this, the file size is 6x10. So, the same values I put on the, on the paper here from 1 to 
the same value as the point of paper from those are the same values I initialized my arrays to be um, then the same thing I did for the previous lab when I created a loop to initialize my pins at, at within the set of function so from pin 0 to pin 13 I initialize them as output then going to the loop function I created two loops one loop for the rows which is and we know from from the array I drew on the paper there are six rows we're going to be counting from 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 0 1 2 3 4 sorry 0 1 2 3 4 5 yeah so there are six starting from 0 the index and starting from 0 yeah. um, so there are six rows and also there are 10 columns representing the pins so um, I'm not going to go over the background knowledge background understanding of our arrays because I assume anyone looking at this should have a previous or prior understanding of C programming now talking about the digital rights the digital rights as we all know takes two arguments the pin argument the the value for the pin number and the value that's going to that the pin is going to output so for this i use the c plus one because i started from pin one so but i want the value for c equals to zero because the index starts from zero but at the same time i i didn't use pin zero i started using pin one so i wanted to start from pin one to pin two then it's up up to pin ten so i pretty much did that and i outputted the values for the values at that the value for that pin at that instance at that instance of r and c within the array yeah um then i use a delay of 10 seconds which is 10,000 milliseconds um now let me show you or let me demonstrate the way the traffic controller works okay on the start let me reset it so yeah, I'm gonna start from the beginning okay this light is green while the light on the adjacent direction is red so the next thing that's gonna happen is the light's gonna turn yellow that's telling signifying the traffic on the traffic within the direction to prepare to stop and then turn, it changes to red and at this time at this instance the left direction light is on but the reason why i didn't put it on there because i didn't have enough leds to show that okay so the the green light for the other direction comes on and the yellow light comes on and that means the traffic in the adjacent direct direction stops and then when the red light comes in the left turn light for the other direction also turns red and on and on it goes and then this light turns red again and this one the traffic coming in this direction will stop and when this turns yellow the traffic will still have to stop and when this turns red the traffic from this direction left turn moves right and then the left turn light goes off and the traffic and the green light for, for this direction comes on and traffic goes the direction it takes 10 seconds each yes and that's pretty much the way i implemented my traffic controller i really hope this video is able to help you understand how the traffic controller works or how to implement it using the Arduino microprocessor. Um, thank you so much. I really wish you all a great one. Hassan Badger.